Hello and welcome to another episode of Green Your Computer. In this session we're going to talk about how you can use the power management features available on your laptop if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista. I've got Windows XP SP2 on this machine. Um, to track your power use, to change different power settings, and to um, to set up a new power scheme. So the first thing you're going to do is start down here in the system tray. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in there. You can look for the small battery icon that shows this This shows how many minutes are left on this battery and what percentage that is. Uh, you can just click that to pop it up and you'll see the number of power schemes that are available on your machine. Um, I have a number of these different ones set up but you may just have one or two. Um, you can page through them just by scrolling over and when you get to the one that you'd like to select just click it and it becomes active. You can check it again by clicking here now that one's active. If you want to open one of these you can simply double click it and it'll take you to the power scheme dialog box which is not showing up. <laughs> or you can right click it and click adjust power properties. and it showed up outside my capture area so let me drag it in. Here you see the various, this is where you choose the different settings for the power management um, that each one of those categories that showed up in that in that system tray icon are controlled right here. So this drop down list will show you the very ones that we saw in that pop-up list. So I've set, I've created new settings for each of these items depending on what I'm doing with this particular laptop. So you can choose one that's close to the settings that you'd like to create and then click Save As and enter a new power scheme name. Now let's see, what do we call this um, at school? Okay, click OK. And now you can go down here and change your settings. Turn off hard disk never. Running on batteries. Now because when I'm at school, I'm in a class, um, occasionally I usually am not using the AC so I may want to tweak those battery settings. Um, standbys and hibernates. Boy, hibernate is just a big pain for me. Um, but I try to avoid it whenever I can. So you can change these settings. You could also modify the alarms to let you know when your battery is getting low. Change those levels, set the alarms. Power meter is what we looked at down here. That was the icon in the system tray. Um, you can change the information that that shows you. The advanced tab includes what you can customize what the power buttons do at shut down and hibernate boy I have trouble with hibernation it it shows so it uses so much hard disk space and um, sometimes it shuts down right when I'm returning and, and that's a big hassle. So anyway, um, so that's a quick overview of the power options properties after you make changes click apply and click OK to change to close the dialog box. So now if we go down here and click again you can see here's the new power scheme that we just created and it is now in effect. If I wanted to change back to full power in the, the um, traditional use that I've got, you know, that I use when I'm plugged into the wall, I can change it back. Simple. So thanks for joining us. That was a quick primer on power management and green the planet. Go green. Thanks.